During the City of East Point's annual test for lead exposure in drinking water, the city found a handful of service areas exceed the normal level. This all boils down to two things. One, the city is not in any way violating the state's Safe Drinking Water Act. And two, the city manager says if you're going to drink water from the tap, use a filter. When Fox 2 went to East Point City Hall to ask about its public advisory regarding lead testing in drinking water, no one wanted to speak on camera. But they did give us a small stack of paperwork, including frequently asked questions on lead exposure and drinking water. Now, in that paperwork, city leaders assure its 13,000 plus residents that the water is safe to drink. Recently, the city learned five of its 30 test sites with lead service lines exceed the 15 parts per billion action level. In this instance, parts per billion measures the amount of contaminant, lead, found in drinking water. This isn't based on a health standard, but does mean leaders in East Point must investigate water quality samples and educate its residents on lead in drinking water. The Flint water crisis shined a spotlight on the dangers of lead in drinking water. It's why Michigan cities and towns, including East Point, test annually. Lead exposure can have major health impacts on our most vulnerable. Over the next couple of weeks, the Macomb County Health Department will work with East Point to make sure people are aware of the advisory. In a statement, the department's director said, quote, We strongly recommend that households with a child or pregnant woman in the city of East Point use a certified lead filter to remove lead from their drinking water. This Wednesday, October 19th, from 3 to 7 p.m., the city will have a water filter distribution drive through event that's at the Public Works Building. Water filters will also be available at City Hall. The following Wednesday, October 26th, the city will also have a information open house on lead safety. In East Point, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.